a smart contract is a piece of computer code that can like sit, you know, it acts as a wrapper on the blockchain. And so it can give extra parameters for defining what is a valid transaction and what is not. Hmm. Um, so you can say like, well, I'm going to trade, you know, tokens with Joe, um, but only if it's on a Wednesday at 3 p.m. or something like that. So you can add extra layers of specificity and business logic into any given transaction with hmm. tokens using a smart contract. Got it. What's an example of a smart contract that somebody's used Ethereum or another platform for that is a shining example of like, this is why smart contracts are brilliant. Um, I mean, escrow services are probably the most popular application. You know, third party escrow services are what fuels the global um, equity trading economy, essentially. You know, repo loans mm. um, are what a lot of people use to buy equities on a day to day basis. And that's essentially just having um, an escrow service. Uh, and okay. instead of having Bank of New York Mellon just like park your um, you know, assets and then just giving them back, right. you could programmatically uh, define, you know, a time limit or a series of conditions that um, allow you to release the funds at a certain point so in the future. So if I said, hey, I'm going to sell you uh, this domain name, mm -hmm. I could say in my contract, if the domain registrar GoDaddy shows you as the owner, mm -hmm. then ship this money to me. But if it doesn't happen, don't ship it. And the money sits, or the, I'm sorry, the coins sit in some third-party service for some period of time. Well, it's a, yeah, it's a piece of uh, computer code, yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, so basically just... Oh, you, right. It's not sitting somewhere. They're sitting in code. Yeah. We both agreed to it. Yep. When it happens, then it fires off the send. Yep. Interesting. Yeah. So but, it's, that's a big use case. <laughs> what about the DAO? Because the DAO was this brilliant idea. Everybody's going to give a bunch of money. Then everybody's going to vote on who gets the money. Um, yeah, and then so everybody, the they hacked it and voted for themselves or something. Um, what yeah. exactly happened? So, yeah. So basically, um, the DAO advertised itself as a decentralized venture capital group. And um, it was trying to programmatically um, define what a VC does by, yeah, making contributions to this smart contract. And then they would manage it with the... Um, the will of the people, if you, mm. if you will. Um, and this is like an extraordinarily ambitious um, objective. It's incredibly stupid, I'll tell you. <laughs> yeah, and so- Because you know what? Great fund, not everybody's a great fund manager voting on where to invest your money. You need to have a small group of people doing that who are knowledgeable. Well, they had curators that would be like, oh, well, this is a good project. <laughs> and, and so- um, I mean, I like the ambitiousness of it. Oh, uh, yeah, but like there were some very incoherent parts about like, you know, how do you get cash out and, you know, yeah. can you participate in stuff? It was like the the corporate structure alone was like a little bit Fugazi? poorly thought out. Yeah. Um, but point being, you know, they they um, had $150 million worth of Ethereum pledged to this contract that would represent the DAO. Um, the contract was uh, extraordinarily ambitious in scope and inevitably, um, you know, a clever uh, hacker uh, found a discrepancy in it and was able to give themselves like uh, siphon off parts of the fund mm. and to the tune of about $50 million. And they never caught the person or reverse it because they would have had to do something in reverse Ethereum or something to, yeah, so to what, do it. Yeah, so what happened was, um, you know, essentially Ethereum uh, was like, oh, wow, that was a substantial amount of Ethereum that was stolen um, from this extraordinarily um, popular project. And they basically called a mulligan and they unwound the transaction. Wow. And they proceeded on um, on the chain uh, as, though, as though it had not occurred. So this is Ethereum the... Is there a nonprofit that runs Ethereum too? Or? Yes, there is a the Ethereum Foundation. Got it. So the Ethereum Foundation did that. Um, so it wasn't necessarily the Ethereum Foundation, but it was certainly like the core people associated with Ethereum. Um, and so what happened was there was like a split as there was with Bitcoin most recently. And that's how we got this project called Ethereum Classic, which essentially was like, no, we will accept that there was this much, um, you know, Ethereum siphoned off and we will move forward with that, uh, that operating. Okay, everybody, let me tell you about a product I love. It's called Tracker, T-R-A-C-K-R, -A -A Tracker without the E. Tracker is an amazing little product that you can attach to a key ring, attach to your phone, put in your wallet, anything that you lose regularly. Now, you know I, Jason Calacanis, am on top of everything I do, and I never lose anything, but once in a while I do. And one of the things I'm always misplacing is keys to cars. And my wife also happens to suffer from this, and we're constantly trying to find 
who was the last person with the Tesla key? Well, when I got Tracker, I took all of our Tesla key fobs, I took all of the different, the minivans key fob, and I put trackers on them. Now, when something's wrong, I can easily take out an app and bing, beep, beep, boop, find the keys. It makes a nice little beep, it tells me where it is. So when you misplace an item and you have that Tracker Pixel, Pixel is their new product attached. You can use your smartphone and a 90 decibel alert will help you find it in seconds. I'm thinking about putting these on the remote controls because my daughter now, my seven-year-old, is constantly leaving the remote control in some weird place. She literally took the remote control into the kitchen and put it in a drawer. She put the remote control in her bed. You know, these things happen. So when you misplace an item, you get that 90 decibel alert and it's got a powerful LED on it, and you can find anything you want in the dark. If you lose your phone, just press a button on the tracker pixel, and your phone rings, even if it's on silent. So it's reversible, too. This is amazing. Every tracker user is part of the largest tracker crowd locate network in the world, so you can locate your items anywhere, even if it's miles away. The tracker 30-day money-back guarantee equals that you will have nothing to lose. So here is your call to action. Go to thetracker.com slash twist. That's T-H-E-T-R-A-C-K-R dot com. Thetracker.com. No E on that second E in tracker. Slash twist. And you'll get 20% off any order. They have a money day guarantee, 30 day money day guarantee. Go ahead and get it. Thetracker.com slash twist thetracker.com slash twist. You will love this product. And I have been a fan of this product for a long time. And this new Tracker Pixel is their best product ever. As the years have gone on, they've made their products better and better. And Tracker Pixel is, I think, the holy grail of losing items. It works perfectly. I love it. It is great. It's been eight years since they started working on this problem. And I got to tell you right now, I think that they have solved it effortlessly. It's so easy to set up. I set it up in literally seconds. I was so impressed. To the team over at Tracker, congratulations. You have figured it out. I know it was a long, arduous trail to figure out how to make all of us have instant recall of where we left our car keys, our wallet, and all these things. It is so delightful to see a startup figure it out, and the Tracker Pixel is delightful. So just from me to you, the team over at Tracker, I just want to say congratulations. I know you've been working on it for a long time. And I am really genuinely impressed with this latest version. Tracker Pixel is amazing. TheTracker.com slash twist. TheTracker.com slash twist. TheTracker.com slash twist. Okay, let's get back to this amazing episode. 